zero exponents. Super exciting. So we'll kind of start out like we did yesterday. The power rule has an alias. What's an alias? Anybody know what an alias is? Nobody knows what an alias is? Landon. Another identity. Another identity. Yeah, like, you know, like Clark Kent and Superman. Yeah? Oh, sure. Peter Parker, Spider-Man, Tony Stark, Iron Man. Yeah? Like a different identity? Okay, so also known as, a.k.a. Power of a power. Okay, so yesterday, if we had a base to an exponent, what, would it, what did that tell us to do? What did that tell us to do? What does the exponent tell us to do? Multiply, multiply what? By itself. By itself that many times, right? So if I have... An exponential expression to an exponent, what does that tell me to do to this exponential expression? This is my base here. This whole thing is now my base. So what am I going to do with 3 to the 6th power? Multiply it by itself three times. 3 to the 6th times 3 to the 6th times 3 to the 6th. And based on what we did yesterday, what would I do with those sixes? Um, I would add them. So how many threes do I have now? Um, Eighteen. Eighteen. That's so many. So I want you guys to look at this situation here for a second and tell me, when you look at this original expression, how else could I have gotten eighteen? By doing what? Multiplying the exponents. Does everybody see that? Yeah. Right? So my shortcut for this is to multiply the exponents. So that I don't have to write out all of this and then do adding. Right, because remember, multiplication is just repeated addition. Yeah, it's our shortcut. Let's try another one. Four to the third raised to the fifth power. So what this is saying is 4 to the 3rd times 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 4 to the 3rd, which equals 4 to the 15th, or I could have just done 4 to the 3 times 5, 
and get 4 to the 15th. Some people in third period insisted that they like to take the scenic route. That's your choice. I'm all about shortcuts. All right, let's try another one. Negative one third squared to the third power. A lot of parentheses. I have to have the fraction in parentheses because it's the whole thing being squared. Then I have to have that in parentheses because it's that whole expression being cubed. So my shortcut, because you know I like shortcuts, negative one-third raised to the two times three, which equals negative one-third to the sixth power. All right, one more. One point eight squared raised to the ninth power. What's it going to be? Don't be shy. That's 2 times 9. Ben? 1.8 to the 18th power. Awesome. Any questions about the power rule at this point? Guys feel good about it? Okay. All right, turn to the next page. Let's talk about the zero exponent rule. This one's really complicated, as you could tell from the wheel. Thank you. Zero exponent. What's 3 to the 0 power going to equal, everybody? One. 1. Nice. Let's write ourselves a note. Any value to the 0 power will always equal 1.
Okay, so some people like to know why that's a thing. So just humor me and watch this little explanation here. As long as you remember the rule, you're good. But like I said, some people want to know why that is what it is. Okay, so I need um, Hannah to tell me what is 8 divided by 8? 1. Okay, and um, Addison, tell me what 7 divided by 7 equals. 1. Okay. So we're all in agreement that a number divided by itself is going to equal 1. All right. Yesterday, we did dividing, right? And we pretended like we took the numerator and subtracted the denominator. So every number actually has that secret 1 exponent hanging out next to it. We just don't put it there because it doesn't need to be there. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't change the value. So if I were to put these hidden ones here, based on yesterday with the quotient rule, what would I do to those ones? Subtract them, right? So I would have 8 to the 1 minus 1. What's 1 minus 1? 1 minus 1? Did someone say 2? 0. Yes, I'm like, what? 0. And so this is why anything to the 0 power equals 1, because it's the exact same thing. We just have these secret mathematical steps hiding in here. This is where it started. This is what you're going to see, and that's why anything to the 0 power is 1. You guys feeling pretty smart right now? Yeah. It's pretty exciting. Okay, let's do some examples. Negative 13 to the 0 power is going to equal 1. one. 6 squared to the 0 power is going to equal 1. one fourth to the 0 power is going to equal one million three hundred twenty five thousand seven hundred sixty two to the zero power is going to equal one any questions about zero exponents in the rule okay that is our notes for today. We do need to update our table of contents.